Volkswagen is giving its iconic compact car a facelift. To stay competitive in a segment dominated by crossovers, the MK8.5 Golf spices things up with a sharper exterior design, a new infotainment system and some much-needed mechanical upgrades. While the US will only get the GTI and Golf R, the standard Golf will continue to be available in hatchback and wagon body styles across Europe. VW is showing off the updated Golf in several versions. The hatchback comes in e-hybrid and GTE plug-in hybrid forms, as well as the American-bound GDI. The more practical variant estate is shown in R-Line guys. The only ones missing from the lineup are the all-wheel drive R and GTD performance diesels. The biggest change to the exterior is the redesigned LED light fixtures, more expensive Golfs feature a full LED headlight setup with an illuminated VW badge. At an additional cost, customers will be able to opt for the more advanced matrix LED setup with a high beam that is almost twice as powerful as the regular high beam. At the rear, sleeker taillights feature 3D-like graphics with three selectable patterns, similar to what Audi offers on some of its models. Along with the Golf facelift, VW is adding four new metallic paints, crystal ice blue, anemone blue, oyster silver, Grenadilla Black, and five alloy wheel designs ranging from 16 to 19 inches. Every available trim level, Golf, Life, Style, R-Line, GTE, and GDI, has carefully updated bumpers, and all models in the style grade above have a black roof. Similar to the pre-facelift Golf, the more practical of the two body styles, the E-Hybrid, will not be offered in GTE and GTI spec. I hope the Golf R variant performance wagon continues. VW showed off the updated cabin at CES earlier this month. Yes, the hot hatch is returning to traditional buttons on the steering wheel and it should be the same story as the Golf R. It's important to note that fewer Golf MK8 models sold in Europe come with conventional controls, with only the more expensive ones getting this switch. Annoying touch-sensitive keys. The biggest change inside is the next-generation infotainment system, which features a large tablet-style screen measuring 10.4 inches on cheaper Golfs and 12.9 inches on pricier models. Those scary sliders to control the air conditioning system are still there, but they're, finally, lit. An optional head-up display will also be available. The entry-level Golf will be equipped with a 1.5 TSI petrol unit with 113 or 148 horsepower, both of which will send power to the front axle via a 6-speed manual transmission. The mild hybrid version of the same engine, called the 1.5 Etsy, has the same outputs but only comes with a 7-speed, dual-clutch automatic transmission. If you need more power, there's a larger 2.0 TSI with 201 brake horsepower and a 7-speed DSG. Interestingly, there is no mention of the smaller 3-cylinder, 1.0 TSI engine offered in the cheapest pre-facelift Golf. On the diesel side, the tried-and-tested 2.0 TDI will have 113 horsepower and a 6-speed manual transmission or 148 horsepower and a 7-speed DSG. Both versions of the oil burner are front-wheel drive only. Those who don't want a diesel can still get the e-hybrid with 201 horsepower, 6-speed DSG, and front-wheel drive. The electric model uses a larger lithium-ion battery pack, 10.6 kWh to 19.7 kWh, providing an electric range of up to 100 km, 62 miles. The previous Golf e-Hybrid had a maximum range of 50 miles, 80 kilometers. The plug-in hybrid model now supports AC charging at 11 kilowatts, instead of 3.6 kilowatts, and can take up to 50 kilowatts of DC charging, in this case, it will take 25 minutes for the battery to go from 10% to 80%. With the battery fully charged and a full tank of gas, VW estimates you can travel up to 1,000 kilometers before needing to refuel. As for the more exciting versions, 
the Golf GTE has a total power of 268 horsepower, transmitted to the front axle via a 6-speed DSG. Much like the regular e-hybrid, it switches from the old 1.4 TSI engine to a 1.5 TSI unit with variable turbocharger geometry. Compared to the previous model, the electric hatchback produces an extra 27 horsepower. Saving the best for last, this model is the updated GTI with Alfa Romeo style wheels. Unfortunately, the hot hatch has lost its manual transmission in favor of the 7 speed DSG, which transfers 261 horsepower, or 20 horsepower more than the pre facelift model, to the front wheels. VW also had a more powerful 296 horsepower Club Sport version available in Europe before this facelift, but it's nowhere to be seen for now. The car VW is bringing to CES could be a Club Sport, hinting at the car's launch in the United States.